guys, it's Jen here from um, Jenny's Crafts. I'm here with a um, tutorial on how to make um, these uh, plastic flowers. My daughter and I were goofing around. We used different types of acrylic paints. Um, here we put some sparkle and then we added some homemade kind of like flower soft to this flower. So we were just goofing around playing around with water bottles and trying to figure out different things that we could use them for. And what we came up with was these uh, flowers. So it's pretty simple to make. Um, to make like these here, you're going to need some kind of acrylic paint. Um, I'm using a antique gold um, metallic paint, um, a paintbrush, a t pair of tweezers, scissors, heat gun, and of course your water bottle and any embellishments that you may want to add to the flowers. So basically I'm just going to show you a simple flower. You could, there are so many different things that you could do with these flowers from adding maybe um, stickles to them or um, Viva Decor, Flower Soft, Glitter, um, Flocking Powder, like there's just so many neat things that you could do. But we're going to start off real simple today. What we're going to do is we're going to take a water bottle and we're going to cut the end off. This is a really fun uh, project to do with your kids. Although I, I, th I think the adult should be the one to use the heat gun because when you, you're melting plastic a little bit. So um, it could potentially, you know, the plastic could become hot and maybe not safe for uh, little kids to do. But they can cut the water bottles or you know, paint them or add the glitter. Okay, then once we do that, what we're going to do is, what we did here though, is we cut pretty close to where the edge comes up, where that crease um, stops, is where I cut it off at. What we're going to do is we're just going to cut down each little line towards the center of the water bottle. We're gonna get each. I'm gonna cut each one of them. You can use soda bottles too. Any um, any type of bottle that has these designs at the bottom work really good. The thicker the water bottle you work with, though, the better. Because some water bottles and some soda bottles are pretty thin. The thicker, the better. This one is a pretty thin one, so it just it takes a little bit more time when you're rounding the edges because that's what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of rounding off because the edges are kind of um, like uh, kind of like I don't want to say square but they're flat across the top so we're going to round them and this is what takes the most time is just rounding off your edges they don't need to be perfect because we are going to be using a heat gun so you're not going to tell if they're not they're not perfect. Okay, I'm going to just keep rounding all the corners here. Just a couple more left. I think this is a great way too to recycle some of your plastic water bottles. And I'm sure you could do this with maybe like a large two liter, although I haven't tried. I think the, the same concept would work if you needed like a really large flower for something. This is the most frustrating part sometimes is getting those edges rounded. 
because sometimes the other petals kind of get in the way when you're trying to round them off. Okay. Oh, this one I didn't quite get snipped off enough. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, what we want to do now is just get all of our pieces of plastic out of the way because we're going to be using our heat gun. Okay, now what I do is I just take my pair of tweezers and kind of hold it in the middle because it can fly off on you all over the place. And sometimes they do slip out of my tweezers and fly out. So I'm going to start my heat gun now and show you how I um, heat this up. Just heat it up till the edges start to curl a little bit. And also you can leave it like this if you like it like that or you can flip it over and kind of heat it from the other side. Okay, that's good enough. Now what I'm going to do is take my metallic paint and I am just going to dab it all over the place. You can add very little acrylic paint. You can add a lot of paint depending on how translucent you want this to be. I'm not going to be adding a whole lot of paint because I don't want my I want mine to be a little bit see-through. I don't want to see just paint, but certainly if you want to cover it with paint, you can cover the whole thing with paint. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat set this really quick. Just a little bit. You don't want to use too much on the heat gun and really go crazy with it because it will just shrivel up into like a little ball. So there you go. You've got your the base of your flower. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my crocodile and I'm going to punch a hole in the middle of that flower. Kind of got it centered. It's a little bit off centered, but that'll be okay. So what you can do is you can pretty much you can add a button, um, you can add a brad, anything you want to add in the middle, like a rhinestone. But I think I'm just going to add just a simple brad to the to the cover. I'm going to add a circle, I think, to the middle there. And then what I'm going to do is take some silk leaves that I have from a bunch of flowers that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. And I just break them apart and I use them for all kinds of different crafts. There you go. It's it's that simple to make one of these flowers. It doesn't take much time at all. I mean, if you want to embellish it with um, like the my homemade flower soft, basically what I did to make my homemade flower soft, all I did was take two styrofoam balls and rub them together to create like this little um, tiny fluff. Stuck it in a Ziploc bag, added some alcohol ink, <coughs> shook it up, <coughs> and let it dry. Makes your own homemade flower soft. These are some different colors. Um, that I have made and it just comes out looking like this like little powdery fluff you just use some glue and you sprinkle it on like you do glitter <coughs> and you've got some uh, flower soft type product so <coughs> sorry I don't mean to be coughing but got something in my throat 
But I hope you guys enjoyed this 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 uh, tutorial on how to make these um, flowers, and I think it's a great way to recycle as well. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave me a message. Um, check me out at jennyscrafts.com and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.